Hi guys, welcome to another brand new episode, beautiful, wonderful episode of life with no other person but Yul Edoche. Okay, of course, it's showing exclusively on Yul Edoche TV. On this show, we get to talk about everything, virtually everything. Anything at all that's bothering you, just bring it on the show. Whatever it is, we are going to dissect it completely. And by the time we're done, trust me, you're going to feel good because we'll bring solutions. Okay? Aha, uh -huh. I have some beautiful wonderful people in the studio and today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic important okay marriage marriage right now we're having a lot of uh, uh marital issues here and there all sorts of problems with marriage uh, a lot of people believe that marriage is not fun while few people think it's still okay so we decided today that we're going to dissect the issue of marriage everything that has to do with marriage and i know you cannot wait to meet the beautiful people that we have here here they are. Okay, I am Princess Diana Ndiwe, and the founder of Lend the Light Humanitarian Foundation. Okay. I am a humanitarian service lender, and I am an event planner. Oh, beautiful. So you're going to lend a lot of uh, service to this topic today. Of course, <laughs> Marriage. that's already. Good to have you here. Welcome. <laughs> My name is Uzachiku uh, Ukemo. I'm an actor, I'm a producer. Musician, anything that has to do with art. Okay. I'm involved. Just like me, yeah? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Welcome, guys, to the show. Life with Yula Doce. Let's dissect this marriage. Um, I think we should start with compatibility, right? Compatibility. What do you think? Like, um, getting married, what should you look out for first? Mm, compatibility is like um, the first step. Okay. Like the baby step into okay. marriage. Okay. You have to know if you are compatible, like um, everything that has to do with you getting to even like this person. Is it physically what you want? Okay. You know, that's one thing um, because a lot of people don't look at that aspect. I okay. just want to get married. Okay, because and other people yes, are getting married. because other people are getting married. Naturally, you like slim girls okay. and you're getting married to a chubby girl. Okay. And then you want her to do the magic. Okay. And you already know that after the the childbirth comes in, okay. it can never be the same. Okay. And then at the end of the day, you those kind of things start bringing unnecessary, unnecessary issues. Okay. You fight, you tell your wife you need to slim down. Okay. You know, those things are one thing. I think that's attraction okay. is what I think that's the first thing. Then it now steps into the next level of... Um, getting to know each other more, which is a um, companionship. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. what I think. So what you're saying is choose your one that is okay for you. Yes. Uh -huh. When you like it, so that uh -huh. when it's 20 years, you'll still be liking you it. What if it goes from that your to... Yeah, but you already know that this person is this person. Okay. Like, let's say, let me give, let me use myself as an, as an example. Okay. Say I like, um, um, first thing I look out for in a guy is being smart. Okay. And, like um, me, you know, <laughs> being smart and uh, a clean guy. Like, you know, oh, I like to look at your shoes when you first talk to me from your shoes. And then, if you have a car, I go to your car. I know you're a very clean person because I'm a meticulous person. So. I have all these things, but it's just that I'm married. <laughs> you're married, uh, and, and I'm married oh. too, you know. <laughs> so, um, practically, these things will actually draw me close to this person. Okay. I'm just using an example because, okay. um, let's say. I can't deal with a husband that comes back home, pulls his trousers from the from the from, from put it on the bed. Okay. Everywhere is littered, you know, okay. to start causing unnecessary rift. That's okay. one thing I think that comes in. Then friendship. Okay. You know, compatibility is now what brings about friendship. Okay. If there is no friendship, there is no marriage. Okay. Yes. Which is where the companionship and friendship comes together. Okay. Yeah, All right, okay one. What do you think? Compatibility, uh, companionship, mm -hmm. friendship. <laughs> well, uh, to me, number one thing that one needs to understand is the word marriage. Marriage, in the sense that you need to think outside the box. Okay. Marriage is not joke. Of course. These are two different individuals raised from different homes with different orientation. Mm -hmm. Try, trying to be one. Okay. Or one the okay. Now. If you understand the word marriage, then that is when you understand that you guys have to find it. Oh, I would think understand. Oh, you have to find the niche. You understand? Yes. Because 
you have to be prepared to go into marriage. A lot of young people these days make that mistake. That's why you have a lot of broken homes. Okay. I, for one, I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay. I got married nine years or ten years ago. So much energy. Now, my girlfriend. You understand me? Yeah. And somehow, somehow, she got pregnant with me to marriage. To me, I don't mind. But I forgot what is the fundamentals of marriage. Which is? Which is understanding that at the end of the day, love cannot do it all. Okay. Yeah. You have to understand that this person is your companion. Okay. Because at the end of the day, when you, the kids are gone, that is when you understand the word marriage. Yes. That is when you enjoy your companionship. Okay. And how do you start? It starts from the little, little things, trying to trash out things, adjusting, fitting each other. You must not stamp your food 100%. This is me. Okay. This is that. Okay. You need to think of your partner. Okay. You need to also think about love things. Yes. Now, as the man, what do I need to do to adjust to suit the lady? Okay. Because both of you are from different homes, oh, different orientation. You don't even know if she came out from the home where uh, there's no love. Okay. The father beats the mother. Now the orientation is different. Are you coming from where there is so much love? Too much love. Okay. Okay. So coming to that point, you as a man that needs it more, or you as a lady that needs it more, you have to find a balance to both of them. There's a 50-50 to it. Okay. So those are the things you want me to understand. What marriage? Break it down the intrigues and how and what it is. You need to break it down the M, the A, the R, the I, the A, G, and the E. Okay. Not just the word you just mentioned, anyhow. Okay. So at that point, when you were able to find a balance to all those things, then hey, what kind of marriage you not talk, talk. If it's not, <laughs> if, if, it's, okay. if you don't find out those things, you cannot understand marriage. The, I've seen people, a yeah. lot of people, yeah. who have uh, found out all these things, followed them, and they still broke up. And then I've seen people who just got into marriage, like a boy who just do this thing anyhow, eh, God will do it for us. And they are still there after so many years. What's the secret? Um, the secret to those ones that are cheap, the nails, I don't know how they say it in Hebrew, you might go for a draw line of okay. when you were there and you were actually looking at somewhere. Yes, yes. They understand. A lot of people like to pretend. Some do it for pride. Oh, I don't mind. Okay. So they're not supposed to see me, see I know they had to fuck up. Mm. Okay. You understand? Some of them are dying silently. They can't speak out. Yeah. Because probably before they got into the marriage, they had a lot of boosting. Oh, my marriage was sweet. You could do this one, you could do like this. Okay. Now, they are not living for people, not for themselves. Most times, I, I advise, I said, if it does not work, if you don't feel work, let it go. Okay. Take your time. Okay. That's why you need to take your time. Okay. So the ones, when we say they follow, the thing and you know work or more the recipe if you don't complete you don't complete <laughs> but some people naturally okay. some people naturally just find out that um, friendship after buzzing into marriage okay um you know um a lot of people like to compare especially from this part of the world where we are mm. there's too much too much of amancy like um wannabes okay you know like i'm married and I don't, I'm not happy in the marriage and I'm there. Like our parents will always say, when the African part, they'll call you and say, um, sit down, look, let me tell you, they are getting married, please wear patience like a clothes. Okay. If your husband beats you, go back. You know, that's the reason. So what are you I'm saying? Your husband beats you, go. No, no, no. I'm saying what our parents used to say to us. What about you? What if you you're, if no, it shouldn't even come up. If my husband beats me, mm -hmm. I'll go. You leave? Yes. Okay. If it's because not working, go. If it, if, yes, because if it starts from, I can tell you from statistics on the research my foundation has done. Okay. We we'll found out that 40% um, of women that have died in married died out of domestic violence. Okay. Yeah. So it started once. It start, I, can, I can tell you, I have a friend that lost her sister two months ago. Why? The husband started by beating her even from their wedding nights. But she couldn't go to tell anybody. And then the sister, she finally told the sister said, okay, please leave this marriage. It's not working. Then she says, what will people say? What will people say? And that, then that's one the, point that has the killed cars. a lot of people. She said, after he beats her, he'll bring the car, beg her, you know, all the stuff. 
At the end of the day, what happened? He pushed her, she hit her head at the edge of the oh wall. By the time they got her to the hospital, she already... And he left her. Oh my God. Because he didn't know. He left her. The normal way when he finished beating her, he would leave her. He yes. left her there and she was in a pool of her own blood. Her neighbors were the ones that came, seeing the drip <coughs> of the blood that was coming out from the... That came to see this lady dead. So you see, it's not a do or die. No, it's not. It's not. But it's in not. this part of the world, they take it to be do or die. That's why you, you hardly record um, domestic <coughs> violence more on marriage outside the country because the woman is just, ah, this, this is so choky, so choky. I need, I need space, you know? And they go and then they get to understand themselves and come back. That's why if you file for a divorce, the, the, the lawyer, will, the, the judge will tell yeah. you, separate. Separate. After yeah. two years, if you find out that you guys are still not going to be friends, <laughs> come back. They come back and they ask them, because some people separate, and after then, the woman starts the woman starts saying, if I had known, I we come back together. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, they find out that it's not working. You leave. That's where that companionship is key. Communication, friendship. I can. What well, I'm a very playful person. I can't marry to a very strict person. It's not possible. I want to come into the house. I want to jump. Um, it's my nature. And when I'm coming, and everybody is looking like we're in okay. one official meeting. Okay. They're saying young <laughs> things. The kids are there. This is how they trained us, man. You I get it, I get so it, I get it. We have it, to do it, this I thing. It, if it. I am a playful person, I want to jump on top of you and let's do the pillow play and all this stuff. And I'm telling you, he say, you don't know what is on my head. What is on your head? Okay. <laughs> you get what I'm okay, saying? So, so um, uh, we've been doing justice to it and you have heard it. What will people say? It has killed a lot of people. What will people say? What will they say about, oh, if I do this, what will they say? They will not say anything. Whatever they want to say, let them say. That's their business. If the marriage is not working, it's not a do or die affair, ah, like no, you said. No, no. Okay? Don't sit back there and get killed. I don't support that. If it's not working, he or she is beating you. And please, save your life. Yes. Right? Yes. Save your life. Uh, we're still here. We're doing so much justice to this. Please don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Life with Yula Doche. We've been talking about marriage so far, and uh, I believe we've been dissecting this issue yeah. uh, very well for everybody to, you know, see the points, the good sides of marriage. Are there any bad sides? I'm not sure. Are there? It depends on how uh, it you depends define on it. On the road, you you told the road, wrong road. You see the bad side. Okay, so but it should be a fun thing, right? Yeah, it should is be it fun. fun? Yes, yes, it's fun. It is. So why are people complaining? Some people think marriage. Ah, no, yeah, me, I can't get what what. They are bored. Okay, you get bored sometimes. Yeah. yeah. What happens when you get bored? Should you go? No. You should you marry should. another one? No, no, no. You guys should recreate. Okay. Yes, um, I am of the view that when, of course, the time must come when you guys just want to. Bored, don't Like, they? you're just bored. Like, you're doing the same thing. Go to office, come back, go eat, watch TV, sleep. So, there should be more, more to reach, you know. You guys, that's some time where you guys will need to just... Man, just stay in your room. Let me stay in my room. Everyone just, you know, after a while, you know, but naturally it's like that. Do you know some white people divorce when they get bored? Of course. <laughs> like they are bored now. They are probably saying, they are not time for this. But is that, is that, that, that boredom that brings, that breaks that misunderstanding, that okay. fight? Is that boredom? If that boredom is not there, they will not. But that boredom, the guy's already getting irritated. Like, you know? Okay. And then the man is already getting irritated. So he becomes bored. Like, I, we can't have a normal... You know, there are couples that, that can't have a normal conversation. Okay. Like, they are like this because the man is... I don't want to say much. You know, <laughs> um, when, you, when, you, when you go... When you're here at this point, please look for somebody that is here on okay. the same spot. Okay. Don't look for somebody that is here. I start okay. looking for a rope to draw that person. It's not possible. Okay. It won't okay. work. Okay. Yes, it will okay. not work. But when you are here and you are, you are here and the person is here, when the person is telling you, so baby, I have a contract, and he, she's telling you, okay, so this, we should do it like this. But when you're telling she say, do it the way you like now. You get, you get bored. Like, I even came back home to get soccer from you and you're already okay. telling me. Okay. That's where he starts getting girlfriends. Okay. He starts getting companionship outside. Okay. And he calls her and there are some men that you can I can tell you that they have their girlfriends know 
one thousand and one thing more than your wife. More than the wife. Yes. Okay. So can you really stop the man from having a girlfriend? It's not possible. How is so that possible? So we then go get by. It by. is nature now. <laughs> what about the women? Men will say no. You know now in the okay. world where we're living now. Okay. Women are beginning to start looking for okay. others. Okay. If it was before, it was a taboo. Okay. But now, I can tell you, my okay, I grew up in the midst of boys. My friends in school were boys. Okay. My girls, I don't have girlfriends. Okay. I hardly have girlfriends. Okay. And then, I'm married. I have a friend. He's a boy. Okay. A man. My okay. husband knows him. Okay. You know? But on the aspect of maybe... Do you guys into filial relationship? No, no, uh, no. Yes, but bedroom. Yes, stuff. no. Okay. But you know, as a man. Okay. As and your husband man, is he comfortable with that? He's comfortable. He doesn't I feel like we, something. I may go on. I and my husband, we got, we had an, we have an understanding. Okay. Like I'm here, I can be. I can just tell my husband I have somewhere I'm going. So he says, okay, okay, all right, take care. He doesn't pray because he knows there hasn't been any rule of this this distrust okay. or saying I'm here and I'm not here. So even if there is a, a discrepancy like that, I try to put the table straight. So we have an understanding now. Or well, maybe in the nearest future, I don't know. What do you think about this? Will you allow your wife to have a very close male friend uh, and they tell you they are not doing something else? In my honest opinion. Yes. No. You know what we have it? Honestly, because to me, in my own understanding about this whole thing, a guy and a girl or they do all married friendship. Is it that one person they see? Well, you know, say, you know, say, girls, we as ladies, mm. if we get friend, we be mad. Okay. Okay. Hold on, no, no, hold on. Yeah, and that matter. man, uh -huh. no, you know, you know, whoever will make you and that man run an issue. But you because be very women close. are okay. stable. That's why if you see a woman sleeps like this, she can sleep like this till tomorrow. Okay. Is it? Yes, it's nature. Are you well, for yourself or you're no, I'm saying for yeah, I'm I'm talking about myself. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so Thank but you. of course a lot of women, a lot of women, um, I can say this, but now I'm saying now a lot of things are happening. You know, the man might hit you, cry go give the man, go hug you, <laughs> do what he wants him. So that, that she would shouldn't be any kind of such um aura. So are you advising are you advising uh, other women now who are married to have no, no, uh, no, 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 another no, man no, by the no, side no, where no, no, you no. You ask the question, you say, is it possible? He said, is it possible for a man not to? It's natural for a man not to. He will never. I've never seen any man, even my father, even a reverend father, mm. no, no, must still look because okay. they are Created like that. Like that, okay. As a little robot, you can control it like this. Okay. Uh -huh. So once they see woman, it's not possible. They say, a man will say, ah, how can I be eating only one of one of one of one every day? I need to test the goosey or I know all those stuff. They do it a lot. So. Just like some people tell you that women are, um, some women, not all, are attached to money. Yeah, just as, no, 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 not just as some women, comfort. all women. Just like the man's problem is, you know, the, <laughs> the, 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 women, the waste. All women. Uh, the women's problem. Uh, um, you see the woman's problem? Comfort. I have never seen a woman who does not like comfort. Yes. Okay. And what brings comfort? Money. Come, if I deal with you, this with you, and I let it bring money, the comfort go vanish. So it had to come with this. And with our modern day girls, that's why most of them ask, how were they raised? What is their orientation? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all about money, money, money. They will even sing it out. No, to but you. because they need to meet up. Meet right? up to what? Yes, Who now, are you competing with? Okay, like right now, I'm seeing you. You're wearing a Gucci top. Gucci, your hair is like 120k. Yeah. We are not matching. That's unhealthy okay. competition. So, and you know that I the think. only way she can get this thing is from a man because her father will not go and buy her hair of 150,000. Okay. Please, can you have, have you ever had any word about cultural code according to yourself? Of course, but it's not existing in this world right now because Thank you. that's why they say we are evolving. Guys, to guys, to see, the negative part. No, 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 no. We're evolving. That is why they say we are evolving. To I know. Yeah. So, of course, of course, of course, you know now. They call it gender. These, okay. right? these things are what kills the values. No, of but what did you say? They said jet age, right? Okay. No, I refuse to be a jet. I'm still on a little plane. I'm not a jet. You <laughs> said I can love you in jet age. How would you? Okay. <laughs> Who's the head of the home? Uh, the man or the woman? 
at this point, um, being what who is the head and who is not the head uh, to me does not count in this modern age right now because oh, now being the head being the head brain comes with a lot of responsibilities. Okay. And when we're growing up, the, the middle school understand that the head of the house provides okay. all. Okay. But since, like you said uh, earlier, we've Gen H, we have evolved. Yes. So there's no head again. We are evolving the head with the game. We do get now our head and head with your top head. I'm not saying. So it's a. You have succeeded in confusing me. So generally, if we have heads, they come get head. We don't top the heads. Yeah, what's the man? What's the woman? You're confusing us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Choose one side. What's What's the man? The man. What do you call the man? What do you call the woman? Who? Okay. The man mm. is a leader of the home. Okay. I call it a leader. Not the head. Not the head. To you, the leader. He's a leader. The woman. And the woman is the assistant leader of the home. Okay. You understand? Now, being a leader. So you have a leader. You have an assistant. assistant. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So it's now, basically head and. <laughs> yes, yeah, the head yeah. and neck. And then assistant yes. head. The neck. No, head and neck. Uh, head and neck. So there's no head now. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't call that head because that's this mentality of being the head that is attached to the head. So now, okay. if, when it comes to being a leader, <laughs> a leader and an assistant leader it means you all know your responsibilities. Okay. You know what it takes to be a leader. Okay. Now, in the, in the absence of this person, this person takes the control of the home. That's why I call it the leader okay. of the home. Okay. Because what the man can do in his presence. Now, the assistant leader, or let me use it this way, what the main leader can do, the assistant leader can actually do that. So you don't actually need to wait for the leader to do okay. before you do your you do your job. Okay. Because when two people who are called a husband and wife are in the home, you understand that you have the responsibilities of pushing the family forward. Okay. And that's what makes you a leader. What I'm trying to say here is, when you understand the responsibility of being a leader, at home. Okay. You don't know that it's not just that the thing does not lie on the particular shoulder. Either. You are the helper as I'm talking to the wife. The woman is the helper. Yeah, okay. She's the helper and that makes her the vice president of the home. Mm -hmm. While, While the man, man is still the president. president. And both of them share the same responsibility because in the absence of this person, this person can always handle the issue. Who provides? But you, you know, the, the, the marriage is a union. Like I said, we have evolved. So yeah. okay. practically, um, who is the head of the house? The man is the head of the house, yes? Because he takes, you don't he that. takes, yes, he takes major decisions decision, in the house. Okay. And um, who provides for the house is um, practically the both of them. Okay. That's why I said we have evolved. Okay. Before our mothers were at home, now we are moving. Okay. The wife and the, because the, everything has skyrocketed. The two, the two parties need to understand that they are now helpmates to each right. other. That's why the wife must have something to help the husband with. Yeah. So okay. if, you, if you're working or you're doing pet business or you're an entrepreneur, you will get something to help your husband with. Maybe say, do some particular bit of the responsibility. Yeah. So when practically there's not, there is no one person that is tagged. Who provides? So, so you're saying that the era of the other room no, for the women, you know, no, like the women, no. we know the women should just be in the kitchen and the other room. Uh, no, that's, that's why the woman comes back now and says she's tired. She can't do the other room's duties. Okay. Yeah, she's tired. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's tired. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's tired. 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 Tell us. Um, we us. need to get this thing straight. Just <laughs> like we have the rule in the house mm -hmm. or who provides. Yeah. The husband and wife needs to understand that the both of us run this house. You and I can't go to work. And you even come back before me. I come back, I go to the kitchen, bath the kids, do everything, wash the clothes, bed, do everything. And you just watch TV. And by the time I come back to lay in the other room, you come to tell me you want to do the other room duty, it will not work. I will massage you to no, the point. No, that, that's why I say okay. we, give, we do the duties. Some yeah. days, like my husband, some days he knows I'm tired. Okay. If you like, bring, bring, bring storm, I will stand up. Okay. And then he knows, okay, my wife is tired today. Okay. And he says, okay, let me make dinner. Okay. Let me bath the kids. Beautiful. You know, Beautiful. and then we have, we have a proper understanding. <laughs> 
But a lot of these things don't happen. That's why we have too many breaks up. Break up. Break ups. Okay. Yes. okay. The, the fear most times why the men don't do that. There are women who find easy to take advantage. Yes. Now, if a man decides to help one day, tomorrow she will come back and complain of the same thing. The next day she complains. Now it becomes a norm for the man. Now, if the man has said, that, oh, you supposed to do this thing, he say, eh. Now, so it takes the so so eh? when mm. the woman they provide, right? Yeah. You understand? You know, you get what I talk. That's why it takes the norm when, <laughs> when the woman they provide. No, so the us. man too sometimes yeah, because they feel say that like your duty. To do. So it's vis a vis. You know, nobody carry yeah. the cup. Now, yeah. we, yeah. the most yeah. important thing is understanding each other. Yes. Each other. Okay. Okay. That's the most important yes. thing. And, and, and what what works for, for, for this, this person may that not work works. for yes. the yes. other person. Exactly. Right? If you know it okay. will not if you know you won't do it, I always say don't start it from the beginning. Okay. My husband knows I'm an entrepreneur. I like to travel. I okay. like to talk. Okay. I'm a motivational speaker. Okay. I like to go up and down. Okay. A humanitarian service leader cannot stay one place. Yes, okay. exactly. But he contested when we started. But at the end of the day, he had to understand. So when I'm going, I'm traveling, he says, okay, I'll watch over the kids. You okay. can go. You know? So we already have an understanding. Okay. But some men sit <laughs> on the potentials of women, which is why we have very, sorry to use this word, so many useless women. Uh -oh. No, no, useless. In mean, not useless in the context of Nigeria. Useless is not being useful okay. to the society, not being useful to the okay. house. Okay. Okay. You know? That's, that's she sits down at home and press her phone for money tonight. It's okay. useless. Okay. You know, okay. but if we have an understanding that this man knows that she likes to sing, why not allow her go sing? To sing, yeah. You know, yeah. let her make money yeah. from it. Yeah. Why tell her no? And then she sits at home, and at the end of the day, when things are bad, then things go bad for you. You start she, 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 bickering, she can, and she, she, can she, help, she can yeah. help. Okay. You she, know, so yeah. we advocate. My foundation advocates a lot for women to get something doing feed your hands on entrepreneurship okay so if your husband is not the type that wants you to go work in you can do entrepreneurship craft things at home and make money okay before we go to the next point i think it would be nice for you to let them know the name of your foundation again okay the so, name of my foundation is lend a light humanitarian foundation okay lend a, a light. light humanitarian foundation okay beautiful beautiful all right guys let's uh wrap this up i think we've been talking for quite some time now and uh, we need to wrap this up. We need to wrap this up, okay? Final lines, two lines on marriage. Tell the people, please. Okay, marriage is sweet if taken through the right road. And marriage can be so bitter if you make a little mistake. So watch it and get to look out for some of the things we've talked about here for you going to marriage. Okay, okay, one. Um... Marriage has always been sweet. Uh, there's nothing bad about marriage. <coughs> but my key advice is marry your friend. Okay. Key. Very marry, key. Marry your friend. Your okay. best friend. That's right. the best. That's the best thing that can happen to you. Okay. Marry your friend because your friend knows your flaws. Your friend knows how to manage. Okay. Okay. Just marry your friend. And date. Don't Bef marry date before friend. you get married. Date. Because that's where you understand okay okay that's uh, that's great you want to add some more points yeah, not that kind of date, date you know as in dates but i've seen people that dated for 10 years that is not and dating they, they are sleeping with each other no 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 they no, dated for dating. 10 years no, there's different please call it ended up after, after three months of marrying people <laughs> they're sleeping with each other and dating they are two different you know oh uh, think, oh. i think anyway. we need, i think we need to do a part two of this <laughs> and i'll have you guys both of you on the show again because it's been wonderful having you guys. You. Uh, it's been it's been great actually. It's been great. Thank you so much. I think we really uh, did justice to this topic. So you have heard it. Marriage is good. Trust me. Don't let people uh, uh, make you believe that it's not. Okay. At the same time, from my end, do not rush it. I'll tell you, Mr. A can marry at uh, 22, 23. That's beautiful. If you're not able to achieve that, it's not the end of yes. the world, right? Take it's time. not. Take your time. Okay, it's better you do it and do it right than rush into it and uh, and it just becomes a problem for you. At the same time, it's still not a do or die affair. All right, if it's not working, you can still walk away. Yeah. It's better to be alive, most importantly. Yes. Be alive, okay? That's very, very important than trying to have a good marriage and at the end of the day, you're going to 
uh, probably die inside, which we don't pray for, but you should be alive, okay? And Enjoy. say no to domestic violence. I love that. Say no to domestic violence. Uh, we don't approve that at all. Once again, of course, it's Life with Yul Adoche, showing exclusively on Yul Adoche TV, where we get to dissect everything at all, whatever it is, just bring it down here, we'll trash it, and by the time we're done, trust me, you're going to feel good, because I know a lot of people at home right now who have watched this, you guys really feel good. Thank you so much for watching, and... I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Peace Thank out. You.